Hi, this is JP from Northern Lights of Arkham. This time we're retrying the Doom of Estley scenario in the return to the Forgotten Age campaign with Pennywise. As we got defeated last time in the scenario, uh, there are no changes to Benny's deck. Uh, the only change is that Benny starts with one physical trauma and we have to place one Doom on the entryway location at the start. Other than that, the scenario and the deck are all the same. So if you want to know more about Benny's deck and what changes I made uh, after the first scenario, check my previous video, the, the first try of this scenario. But that's enough of the scenario. Let's get started. If you like my content, Hit the subscribe button, so you don't miss anything. So I have pre-shuffled the decks. So let's draw our opening hand for this time. So we change the weakness and we get Peter Sylvester. Look what I found, Red Balloon, Lone Wolf and Lantern. I think uh, we... Uh, get rid of the red balloon. Uh, we keep the lantern. It will help us uh, investigate better. I think I'll keep the look what I found on Lone Wolf also. So we get one card and it's what's this. So last time we <laughs> got really bugged down with all of the enemies. Uh, we had to kill the three vengeful serpents uh, enemies, the new ones, I think seven times. <laughs> so hopefully we get a bit of a break this time. And if we get defeated this time, then that's the end of the road for Benny. And we have to continue with another investigator from the next scenario. But if the starter deck investigators are out at that point. I think I will continue with one of those, but I'm not sure yet which investigator I will pick if they are not. Okay, uh, let's get started. So first action, I'll play Lone Wolf. I'll play Lantern. And I'll try to investigate here using the lantern. So I'm investigating uh, two versus one. I think I won't commit anything to the test, but let's see what happens. Well, we get a zero, so we succeed and get the clue at least. And that is our first turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, and it is Miss Doyle, which we probably will play next turn, and we gain one resource. So, that is the first turn, let's go to the next turn. So, we add a Doom, we have a threshold of 7 Doom, encounter card is Deep Dark. Uh, put Deep Dark into play next to the agenda deck. No more than one clue may be discovered from each location by each investigator each round. Forced at the end of the round, discard one copy of Deep Dark from play. So I'll just place it here. And that is the Mythos phase, so... Uh, we go to Investigation phase, we get one resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, first action, I will play down Miss Doyle. So let's see which cat we get at first. And we get Ogre. So Ogre will help us a lot uh, investigating which is really important in this scenario, because we really have to keep moving and getting clues to advance and get to the uh, Chamber of Time eventually. Just quick shuffle to the deck and let's start continuing the turn. 
So um, I think I will uh, explore and there are no encounter cards here yet so we will succeed in the first explore and the location is snake pit it isn't connected so we try again uh, and we get the chamber of time uh, chamber uh, grand chamber I mean uh, let's shuffle the snake pit and one encounter card into the exploration deck and the chamber of uh, the Grand Chamber has one clue, two uh, Shroud, and if we had a map we could do something, but we don't, so we can't change the Vengeance from here to Victory. That is unfortunate, but uh, I think the last action will be just to investigate here. So let's investigate. I think I'll just commit the roof. No, I will use Augur to investigate. I'm investigating 5 versus 2. And it's another 0, so we get this clue also. And no enemies, we go to upkeep. We draw a card. Get another watch this and we gain a resource. And Deep Dark goes away at the end of the round. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add the second Doom. The encounter card for this turn is Entombed. Uh, put Entombed in play in your threat area. You cannot disengage from enemies or move. Test Agility 4 to escape the Tomb or uh, fight for to break out. If you succeed, discard and tombed. If you fail, reduce the difficulty of this test by one until the end of the round. Uh, we start our investigation phase and get one uh, resource from Lone Wolf. Uh, I think we need to keep moving, so I will commit to watch this to the test and put three resources on it, then I will also use Penny's ability and I am testing Agility. So we are Agility 5, 6, I think we'll just do... We'll just commit the other one and try to succeed. So we are 7 versus 4. So we get a uh, minus three. So unfortunately, uh, even as we pass the test, we don't pass it uh, quite well enough. So we don't get the resources and that is a shame. Uh, second action, I will explore. And uh, it's the mosaic chamber. It is not connected, so we try again. It's the ancient hall that is also not connected. But then we get the throne room, which is connected, so we move it in there. Okay, so the throne room is a uh, 5 shroud location with one clue. Uh, when throne room has uh, doom on it, it's considered to be in the victory display for the purposes of counting mentions. Action, if there are no clues or doom on throne room, record mysterious scepter into the supplies. Uh, group limit once per game. Uh, this wasn't quite clear because last time we managed to get the uh, Mysterious Scepter added into our supplies and the resolution says that do not uh, 
record anything in your campaign log except trauma. So, as I understand it, uh, we don't have the mysterious scepter in our uh, supplies because it wasn't clear. So, I'm playing it as we don't have it. So, I need to get it again. Uh, last action. I'll use Ogre to investigate. I will also commit the loot what I found to the test. So I am investigating uh, 7 versus 5. And it's another 0, so we succeed. And that is our turn. So upkeep. Not, uh, enemy face, nothing happens, we go to upkeep, we draw quick thinking, and we gain one resource. Okay, so... And actually we got one resource from Lone Wolf. So we should have two re resources at the end of the round. Uh, actually no, because this was done in the investigation phase. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the... Next turn. And we are at 3 Doom of 7. Uh, encounter card for this turn is Sure in Fog. So it just doesn't do anything, which is just fine. Uh, we start the investigation phase. I get the Lone Wolf resource. And first action we will uh, explore. Uh, actually, before we do anything, uh, we'll spend the clues to advance. And again, we shuffle the Chamber of Time into the exploration deck. Then we check our supplies. If we have chalk, we remove this act from the game. Otherwise, we would place the uh, victory display. But we have chalk still, so... We don't have to put it in the victory display. Okay, so now we will explore. And we get the snake pit. And it is connected, so we put it here and move into it. It's a one shroud location with one clue forced after you put snake pit in play by exploring successfully. But before moving to it, spawn one set aside pit viper per investigator enemies in snake pit to a maximum of three. Check your supplies. If an investigator at your location has binoculars, you may choose to not move to snake pit. Otherwise, you must move to it. Well, uh, we spawn the pit viper and also let's not forget to add the encounter card here. And now we can choose if we want to move in there. Uh, because I can deal with the pit viper with the lantern. I will think I'll just move in and kill it off. <laughs> we are uh, really in a bad shape with vengeance. So let's go broke or go home. And just not uh, care about the vengeance that much. So let's move in. Uh, second action, I'll uh, discard Lantern and I'll deal one damage to an enemy at my location, so this uh, is dead. Last action, I'll use Augur to investigate. And I'm investigating 5 versus 1. It's a plus 1, so we get this clue also. And no enemies, we go to upkeep, uh, we draw a card, we get uh, I'm out of here, and we gain one resource. And that I'm out of here is actually really good, because if we are uh, nearly dead or something like that, we can just resign and escape, and then just uh, take the other resolution. Mm. I'm just checking the connect. Uh, the location connections that this is correct 
Yeah, so it's basically a straight line at this point. Okay, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at four doom. Encounter Cardis. Ancestral Fear, Peril, Surge. You must either choose one, place one doom on your location and discard Ancestral Fear. Place it Ancestral Fear in the victory display. Yeah, let's just place it there. <laughs> well, we're playing the game as we don't care about Vengeance because we already have five. Uh, so let's just not care about it. And it searches. Uh, Crypt Shield. I think I will. Yeah, uh, if, if I fail, uh, the Lone Wolf is gone. So I'm not committing anything to this. It's a minus 3, so good thing we didn't overcommit to it. So uh, the Lone Wolf is gone. And that is the Mythos Space. So. Uh, I think we'll just uh, continue in, uh, exploring, uh, but yeah, uh, I, I can't play Peter down because I don't have charisma, so we'll just uh, explore. Uh, we get Ancient Hall, which is not connected, and then we get the uh, Vengeful Serpent. So now we have to fight with that. Serpent. Okay. Uh, first, um, second action. I'll commit quick thinking to this test and fight four versus two. So we hit. Uh, we don't get the extra action, but that's okay. Uh, I'll take one damage and boost my uh, fight with Benny's own ability and fight one more time. So I'm fighting five versus two. And it's a minus one, so we managed to kill the, off this uh, Vengeful Serpent and it goes also into the victory display. Uh, that is our turn. No enemies upkeep. We draw a card. We get liquid courage. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. And we add another doom. Uh, we are already at 6 of 7 because there's one uh, doom on the entryway. Encounter card is... Uh, final mistake. Uh, test Agility 2. This test gets plus 1 difficulty for each Doom on your location. If you fail, take 2 damage. So I think we won't commit anything to this test. And uh, I won't use Benny's ability. So we're testing uh, 3 versus 2. It's a minus 3. So we take 2 damage. Which is still fine. At least we didn't get an enemy. Uh, first action, let's uh, explore. And uh, we find the Chamber of Time. So I'm just checking, so... Because this is... Uh, uh, we found it surprisingly fast this time. So uh, this is connected to here, and this is connected to here, and this is connected to here, and this is connected to here, so we are fine. So there's two clues here. Post after Chamber of Time enters play, attach the set aside Relic of Ages asset to the Chamber of Time. Place one Doom on Chamber of Time. And well, this doesn't matter because we are at the Witching Hour either way, so that is completely fine. Uh, we still need one clue to 
advance. And let's put the relic of agents there. So uh, we will investigate. I'll use Augur. I don't have anything to commit to the test. So let's see what happens. I'm investigating five versus four. I'll use Benny's ability now. So I'm investigating six versus four. <laughs> it's a minus five, so we fail. Uh, last action, I think I'll just gain one resource. That is uh, our turn. No enemies. We go to upkeep. Uh, we draw a card. We gain one resource. And that is that turn. So let's go to the next turn. Uh, we have too many doom in play, so uh, the agenda advances. So uh, we spawn the Harbinger in the location with most doom, and let's put it in the entryway. Uh, encounter card for this turn is Wrath uh, of Yik. So this is a new one. Uh, test willpower two. This test gets plus one difficulty for each vengeance point in the victor display. If you fail. Put set aside poison weakness in the play in your threat area. You cannot take two damage. Uh, we really don't want to get poisoned, uh, so I'll risk it and take one damage on Benny with Benny's ability. I commit uh, meat cleaver and liquid courage test. We are testing uh, uh, against four, so we are five. 6 7 versus 4. So I think 3 up is a good enough chance. It's an Elder Sign. Uh, we could heal one horror, but uh, there is no horror in play. But we succeed, so we manage to avoid that. Uh, first action uh, we'll try to investigate with Ogre. Token. Uh, actually, I think uh, I think we'll play it safe. I'll just exhaust and discord over to gain one clue, and we'll spend the clues to advance. So. Uh, choose an investigator in the Chamber of Time to take control of Relic of Ages. Move the placement of each location to form a straight line with the Chamber of Time on the left and the entryway on the right. Each other location is placed from left to right in between these locations in order of how much doom is on them, from lowest to highest. Until the end of the scenario, ignore all location connections. Instead, each location is connected to each location on its left and right. Uh, so basically, uh, because we can't move the entryway or the chamber of time, and I won't start flipping them uh, over. So I think we'll just keep everything as it is. It's a strange line already, so we can control of the relic. And I think that's is that uh yeah we really uh, i think we'll play it safe and take a bit less uh victory points from this scenario so uh second action i'm out of here so <laughs> we just uh, resign and that is that so Let's check the resolution. So, if it's undefeated, investigator has resigned. Advance. Avoiding doom. Uh, if an investigator resigned with the relic of ages under his or her control, resolution one. So, 
Let's uh, read the resolution one. In your campaign log, record that the investigators recover the relic of ages. One investigator must add the relic of ages to his or her deck. This card does not count towards the investigator's deck size. If the heart bringer of Lucia is still in play, uh, record in your campaign log that the heart Heart bringer is still alive next to this. In parentheses, record how much damage is on the heart bringer of Palusia. Well, there is none, so nothing needs to be recorded. Uh, for each vengeance point in the victory display, record the tally mark under Gix Fury in your campaign log. So there is two, three, four. Each investigator earns experience equal to the victory X value each card in the victory display and that is one. Oh yeah and <laughs> we didn't take the action to uh, actually get that thing there well uh, it will remain a mystery what it will do and that is resolution one so we cleared the doom of Estrid quite easily but without much victory points and next up will be return to threats of fate which is one of my favorite scenarios from uh, the forgotten age and i'm hoping it has changed to be even better with the return to additions but yeah that is uh, the doom of esli when he managed to escape with the relic and i will go over the interlude uh, in the start of the next scenario. So thanks for watching and until next time.